Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. Let's build. Where you've probably looked at the title and you've thought to yourself, Borderwise, why did you decide to build a fail mech? Should you not have uh, made a successful mech instead? Trying for that instead. Hmm? Well, funny you should mention that because the fail mech. Well, uh, the fail mech comes when you least expect it, usually when you're trying to build a successful mech. So the story behind this video, because there's always a story behind every video, it's just that most of the stories tend to be boring, or tend to be summed up like I felt like it, or someone asked me to. And in this particular case, it's kind of both. I felt like having a go at a Twin Guard style mech, so basically a boat uh, with a sub-vehicle on top acting as a giant turret, and, yeah, that has been uh, sitting and gathering dust in the to-do list for a Let's Build for quite some time. And I decided to finally uh, get around to it. And basically it was a complete failure. There will be no part two to this particular attempt at a mech, because it just went, well, pretty badly. I might keep the hull uh, for something else, uh, or not, who knows what the future may hold, but... Um, I decided to upload the this video and the footage of it uh, anyway, despite the fact that I knew about halfway through this building session that this was a uh, this wasn't going to work. It wasn't going to turn out the way I wanted it to, to uh, for multiple reasons. Firstly, I foolishly did not uh, look up um, twin guard vehicles or workshop craft or anything like that on how to properly make something like this, uh, which is a rookie error. Uh, it does help to look at things that work in order to figure out what works and what doesn't. Uh, secondly, I was multitasking during this. I am ashamed to say that I was... Uh, there's uh, frequent times uh, that you will uh, see that I just seem to pause and not do anything on screen uh, for um, for a moment, seemingly for no reason. Uh, the reason is, is that I was doing stuff on my phone while I was recording this. And uh, you know what they say about multitasking? Uh, it means you do two tasks at about one quarter effectiveness as uh, as you would do just one. And, and nope, it wasn't important stuff on the phone either. I was playing a mobile game. I'm not going to say which one it is. Uh, have a guess in the comments which one it is because it's uh, objectively terrible and um, yet it's really addicting, which is really annoying. And uh, I have no idea probably shouldn't put content of it up on the channel because who do know that would be a dark place to go it'll be all downhill from there or maybe uphill who knows who knows i don't know things so yeah and anyway you've probably already noticed that what's happening on screen is yet another canoe and that was perhaps uh, yet another mistake here is that um canoe possibly wasn't the best choice and uh, possibly the best choice was just to get the actual sub vehicle the the actual mech part of the uh, mech uh, up and running uh, before anything else. Uh, as it happened, I didn't do a very good job on that mech part, as we will see later. It was absolutely terrible. I am ashamed and distressed uh, that we're even um, that you we're even going to see it. Although there are some parts of it I'm proud of more of that later. Uh, but what I'm doing here on screen right now is that it's essentially I wanted to make a hydrofoil uh, mech so similar to some of the things the Twin Guard have uh, but not uh, not quite they tend to have uh, they tend to have like not incredibly fast a mecha actually they do have a few fast ones but yeah I just wanted to make a, a hydrofoil skimmer but with like a robot a torso sitting on top of it shooting stuff and in my head, as these things tend to go, it like, I had it all figured out. I knew what I wanted to do, and the, just had to knuckle under and do it. And of course, it did not go according to plan. Sometimes things don't go according to plan. It's weird. Um, and from the depths, uh, like other things in life, you can... Uh, there are times in which you... I swear some of the times, uh, and from the depths, with my most successful builds, the ones that are best looking, or most combat effective, or what have you. It's when I stop caring about it being good, and I just build, and then I get surprised by the end result, like, oh, oh, that works really well. How did that happen? 
but at other times when I'm focused, like, like, uh, never minding the multitasking that I was doing throughout most of this video, damn you, passport wise keep your head in the game. Um, basically, there are times in which I've genuinely tried to make something good, and it's just, it's just failed miserably, really miserably, like lay misera. Uh, levels of misery and if you know that yep there's the pause again playing friggin stuff on the mobile which basically was just hitting uh, an autoplay uh, feature repeatedly there there's a hint uh, for what I was doing damn you pass border wise I'm gonna be saying that a lot damn you to heck uh, but yeah so like the hull of this was also a little bit experimental, and uh, the results may never be proven because I wanted to, it to be super light and super floaty, uh, but also reasonably strong. So it's kind of an alloy metal sandwich, um, which is like I don't I don't know if that really works well. Alloy is decent armor, but uh, pound for pound metal is like a lot stronger just with the extra armor. An extra metal, and one of the actual benefits of hydrofoils is that they can be quite heavy, but still float. And um, the main trick is just to get them moving fast enough so they do stay on the surface of the water. Which means that uh, when they uh, are sitting still, uh, they do still do need to keep whatever is propelling them uh, up and out of the water. And that's, um, that is reasonably feasible to do. So, yeah, and... Uh, what is, uh, what is past me doing here? I think uh, past me is calculating the AI combustible. Nope, hitting the autoplay feature on the phone again. Now we're calculating the AI compartment and we're all going heavy armor. So never mind the fact we're making this thing out of alloy to save weight for some reason. Now we're gonna make uh, a very heavy AI compartment. Like th this, this was a contradictory build. I was all over the place focus wise. Jolly terrible. Jolly terrible. I look back on this and I think, jolly terrible. Well, well, at least it's jolly terrible and not miserable terrible. At least it's not Les Miserables, which I've actually mostly forgotten the plot of, to be perfectly honest. It's mainly... I remember that it is set during the French Revolution, or at least the beginning of it. And that's about it. And there's a police chief who is really into his job. But, yeah, so, yeah, really not much exciting happening on screen right now. It's a pretty bog-standard AI compartment. And what is uh, past me doing? Past me is working out, is trying to remember where the wireless snooper is, even though it was right in front of his face. See, here's the thing with watching, um, I guess, any kind of video game content uh, on the internet, especially things like Let's Plays, or in this case, a Let's Build, is that... Um, it's easy to watch it and think, my goodness, why were you so bad? How are you so terrible? And, um, truth be told, there's a number of things that, uh, make people less uh, good at the video games uh, when they're making footage of it to put online. In this particular case, usually it's multitasking. So, we can see here, as a kind of scientifically objective example, uh, what multitasking does to your brain in terms of uh, effective task management. Because uh, this is about is the same kind of quality you'd get if I was trying to do a let's build while also commentating. And like, or at least the same speed of building at the very least. So, yeah, don't multitask uh, past border wise. What were, you, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? You were thinking not not good thoughts not clever thoughts not big brain thoughts but yeah so this is one of the few things I'm actually kind of proud of is just this kind of very streamlined hydrofoil pod uh, just sitting there underside like the previous hydrofoil skimmer guide I made I made one by the way go and watch it it's full of good stuff and um, black and white wooden things uh, that get blown up very nicely uh, but yes, yeah, so like I do like uh, the, this kind of pot. I really should have like made a permanent prefab of that simply because it's so handy dandy and so streamlined. And this is past me figuring out where exactly. Okay, going straight past there and sticking it on the back. Why did you do that? It's unselected prefab. What are you? Are you a noob? 
What kind of noob stuff are you bringing to the table this video, Borderwise? I just like roasting my past self, because honestly, what he's what is he gonna do about it? He's me! Like, so, but, you know, roasting your past self is basically... I don't know. Within reason, it's almost by definition a consensual activity with your past self. If that makes sense. I'm not sure it does make sense, to be perfectly honest with you. But yeah. So, Hydrofoil Pod is a go... What is you doing? What is you doing? Ah, figuring out the exact place for it. Also figuring out the exact place for... Yeah, inverted triangle. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. That looks good. Well done past me. I'm going to lay off roasting you just a little bit. A little bit. I'll turn the heat down. I'll turn the heat down just a little bit. So you can stop sweating. Oh boy. See that little pause there? You like there there was looking at the mobile again. How dare you? I wonder if people would have noticed that if I hadn't mentioned it. Maybe. Or maybe not. I do sometimes that is actually come to think of it kind of indistinguishable from me just kind of um Um Oh here's a fun bit. This is where I'm not looking at the phone. I'm writing down, in fact I still have that piece of paper in front of me writing down certain dimensions because I don't want uh, the mech part, the sub-vehicle, to be excessively bigger uh, than the parent vehicle. So that's what's happening right here. I'm just writing those things down. And, or I'm just checking the phone as well. My goodness. Deacon's Christmas. Like, hurry up past me. It doesn't take that long. Apparently it does take that long. Apparently I'm a very slow writer. And slow reader. And slow button pusher. Slow, slow, slow. Mr. Sloth called. He told you to hurry up. And this is the fun bit. Oh, this is this is this is cringeworthy. Uh, this is me trying to build, basically the sub vehicle. So I've made the base, and now I'm making the sub vehicle here. And the great news about sub vehicles is that you can make them pretty heavy because I believe, I believe, I don't know for sure. That uh, sub-vehicle weight uh, doesn't affect the parent vehicle, or at least doesn't affect it much. So you can get away with making, like, very heavy uh, sub-vehicle things. And, uh, yeah, so, fair amount of heavy armor in here. Uh, very thickly armored. And, fun fact here, I actually end up, um, later you'll see that I accidentally uh, put stuff on the front. Uh, well, no, I put stuff on what I think is the front, turns out to be the back, so... That actually turns out well, even if the actual vehicle does not. And actually, one of the great things about um, this footage is that you get to see... Um, it's very actually quite similar to how I build off-camera. It's not an elegant process. There's a lot of fiddling around. There's a lot of um, uh, devastatingly unsexy testing of stuff. And yeah, so that's a nice preview into behind the scenes action almost and uh, trust me you're not missing a huge amount uh, although there are fun but like there's a bit later in the video uh, where you can tell like I and I remember feeling like you know what bugger this uh, this ain't working like I wasn't salty I wasn't mad it was just that kind of very matter of fact like acknowledgement like yep this is this is turd this is poo this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna fly, so to speak. So, yeah, I will point that bit out when it comes. Uh, look forward to that. So yeah, so, oh yeah, one well, another cunning thing I'm mentioning here. Well, I guess it's cunning. It's slightly cunning. It's basically uh, partitioning out the ammo compartment, so hopefully it doesn't chain react as much. And. Um, Sticking the AI right here. So at this point, I completely had lost track of which end was the front and the back. And there's that pause to check the mobile phone again. Oh, mobile phones are a terrible invention. Well, smartphones are a terrible invention, at the very least. Smartphones with the internet access are a terrible invention. But also a good one. It's weird like that, but uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so at this point, like, pretty sure I was doing everything wrong in terms of making a mech because in a weird way, making a mech um, turret, like a sub-vehicle turret, it's a lot like just making a frontsider, just um, 
that it doesn't have uh, any propulsion of its own. So, honestly, I should have just thought of that. I should have just built a front sider, um, left off the engines and stuff, and then called it a day. Also, fun bit here, uh, people have repeatedly told me that uh, kinetic defense um, wedges are the best thing, so because the angle is so steep that it reduces uh, the damage of projectiles a lot, and they are correct. I have tested wedges are amazing uh, at that, and that that is why I'm putting it here at what I think is actually this is the front. All right, so I haven't I haven't uh, buggered it up yet, but hold that thought. The the buggering will come. Soon, I should not have said that sentence, because me gods, that can be taken very much out of context. Very much out of context indeed. So, yeah, what else is happening on screen? What else is happening? This thing, it, oh jeez, it does not end up looking like uh, Pacific Rim whatsoever. It looks, uh, or at the very least, it looks like, I don't know, you know those movies that... Uh, they're kind of like, you know, they're uh, offshore knockoffs of very, like, very popular stuff. Like the, uh, I don't know, I think, it look, Google Turkish Batman film, and uh, you'll kind of get a sense of what I'm getting at. It's just the kind of, uh, it is very, very obviously a ripoff of something uh, that's much uh, more popular. And uh, it's a thing because somebody clearly wanted money. And, um... Yeah, this is this is that's what this vehicle reminds me of. It's just it is a horrible knockoff of something else, and I'm not even sure what it is. So, and that's me forgetting that you know you kind of need to you kind of need to put a roof on it, mate. Oh boy. Oh no! And here the yawn comes. No, I don't know why it is. Every single time I do a post commentary, let's build. It is. Like, it is a combination of watching my own footage is a weirdly meditative activity. I understand fully why people use me as, like, background noise or just use me as, I guess, tea break content. Because it's just, you know, you watch me do something, and it's like a freaking hour-long video of me just yakking away, subliminally uh, messaging you to like, comment, and subscribe. What? Who said that? Nobody said that. I didn't say anything. I was talking about what's happening on screen. Um, what was I talking about? Wow, I just played myself. I completely lost my train of thought in making that little wisecrack. Well done. Well done, present me. Now I'm gonna roast present me now. Um, freaking hell. Wow, nope, it's gone. Let's just focus on- This thing is blunt. You know what I should have done? I should have uh, just made another canoe. I just should have put a canoe on a canoe and yep, yep, he's poking the mobile phone again. He's poking that you... You silly billy past borderwise. You silly billy present borderwise. You're a silly borderwise, you is. Quit being so silly. What about else's news? Well, ugh, let's not talk about news. I hate news. I prefer olds. I have a history degree. That means I prefer olds. I actually think olds might be slang for something, like old people. Not a flattering uh, slang either. A slang. <laughs> so yeah, this uh... Oh no, this is... This looks so disastrous. Oh boy. And this is actually kind of fun to... Like... Don't get me wrong, I knew, I was realizing quite early on uh, that this was, uh, that this was not going to turn out well. But there's something quite liberating in trying a new thing in, uh, well, not just in front of the, I need to make a video on things uh, you can apply to real life from playing from the depths, because I think there's a surprisingly long list of stuff that works well for that. Um... Freaking hell, what was the, what was the, what was the, oh yeah, so it's quite liberating actually to know that it's the first time you're doing something. So you are going to suck on it. So, suck on it. What is, what is it? A, like, well, yeah, if you, the first time you try a lollipop or an ice cream, yes, you will suck on it, but you will also suck at it. You will be bad. 
And that's fine, because you have to be kind of bad at something before you're good at it. In this particular case, this is the first time I tried to make a, a sub-vehicle turret craft, which I guess is the more technical term that I just made up uh, for, uh, for the, what do you want to call it, for the, uh, like, the mech canoe, I guess. And right here, uh, yep, so saving the torso and also realizing, is this the point where I realize that I'm doing things backwards? I don't think so. Nope, it's not, because right now the front is mostly the same as the back. And I believe... So, pretty much the same pattern as what happened here before. And yeah, I'm measuring it. So once again, here is where I scroll down the dimensions, because there's going to be turrets on the side of these things. And spoiler alert, they are the worst turrets you have ever seen. I don't know what past me was thinking. I think I was not thinking at all. I think I was, uh, I think I left my brain in my other jacket for this one because, um, uh, oh boy, oh boy, the turret building is gonna be bad. It is gonna be bad. Brace yourself. I hope you, um, actually there's plenty to learn from this video. Is just almost everything you see on screen uh, right now, unless I specifically say otherwise. Uh, don't do that. Do something other than that. So here's something that I pretty much never do in a Let's Build video, and that is pull out the turret test fortress. Because the turret test fortress is used for testing turrets, and it's hot and humid, so I'm going to take my socks off, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm not sure if that helps. Hopefully it'll help. Cold foots keeps you awake, so it does. And so this is me trying to make a long, flat deck turret. It's like, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Not your best move. Why did I think to put turrets on the thing? Just fixed hull-mounted guns for crying out loud. Oy. You've made frontsiders before, ya wee crazy person. Why would you not do that? Hmm... I am tempted now to create a mini front sider just with like 18 millimeter sabo guns. That would be sabo, 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 sabot. Never remember how quite to pronounce that because people always tell me completely different things. Sabo. I think I prefer to say sabo because that sounds more French. I think the Americans say sabo. Like. And of course, like, and now I've started a fight between the French uh, and the Americans in the comment section. Well done, me. If you two must fight over pronunciation of stuff, I ask that you keep it bloodless. And keep your language civil and no punches below the belt. Uh, Mark the Marquis of Queensberry rules, if you please. And of course, now I've said that, uh, the Americans will say, like, you mean Marquis, right? It's like... No, it is French. And they will say something like, you know, uh, uh, Sabo is also French, and we say it like that, and it's like, no. No, we are back to square run, uh, square run, square one in terms of cultural understanding and communication. So anyway, what's happening on screen? What's happening on screen is that I am uh, moving the local weapon controller by looks of it. I am moving it... Or is is he moving it? Is he that person playing? Because it's totally not me. You are a different person uh, later in time. I mean, kind of, sort of. Oh boy. Hmm. Hot, humid, late night, and just okay. Now what? Now what? All right. Slightly sunken turret. Alright, he's trying to, like, border uh, past border-wise, is trying to remember how to brain. And, uh, he's not quite there, he's not quite- be patient with him. I think, hopefully, by next video, he, he would have found his brain again. Not sure if he's managed it. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I think I'll need to do- I don't know what the kind of thing I'll have to do. I think I will have to do another, another thing. We. I just zoned out for a second. That was that was weird. Anyway, so um, 
Again, spoiler alert for what this turret is, I try an APS turret first and that was awful, and I try a cram turret and that was just as awful, so you gotta wonder why I even bothered in the first place. And, um... Yo, oh boy, there's like, really, there's not much to say about this turret design that's happening right now, except it's bad. I mean, it could potentially be good, but just not in this context. Just really not. Oh boy, deck turrets are, uh... Deck turrets are best served small, in very small doses, and this is not small. This is a great big honking big thing. That's also ugly. So, yeah, multiple issues with this. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh crud. You know what's really bad? In summer, I get sleepy because it's warm. And in autumn and winter, I get sleepy because it's dark. I'm like a budgie. You put a cloth over my head, I'll think it's nighttime, and I will go to sleep. Um, and now, horrible thing that's happened now, it's autumn here, but it's wet and humid, annoyingly, so it's dark and warm. And so now I want to curl up into a ball and sleep so I can avoid looking at my past failures right now. That's a really depressing thing to say, and I'm sorry I said it. Let's focus on the positive things. Just tried to think of From the Depths news that's happening. I believe... What is From the Depths news that's happening? You know what? This turret is awful. I am going to look up... Uh, from the Depths news. And see and see what I come up with. We... I should... Well, now... Well, here's how uh, life is repeating itself. Because now... Uh, past me was multitasking uh, on the phone, and now present me is also multitasking on the phone, but hopefully for a good cause. So, from the depths. Whoops. Not the movie, the video game. From the depths. Uh, news. Okay, from the depths, Steam News Hub. Trying to remember important stuff. Uh, nope. That's not where I wanted to go. Not that. From the depths game.com. Righty ho then. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Community. This is the only thing. I think they might just. Um, Oh yeah, request feature. I am on the fr official From the Depths uh, uh, website now, and actually, you know what? While we're here, while we're good, honestly, there's nothing to, there's nothing really to say about the turrets being designed now, except they're bad. They're bad, and I regret their existence. But we can read out um, some of the request trackers. So let's just read out some of the things that people have been requested. Uh, let's look at the. Uh, actually, let's look at recent first. Uh, new setting for failsafe, do not shoot at the ground. Patrol and fleet move input for ACB and breadboard. Add speed off enemy to loaf board. Uh, automatic rigging for decoration and exploding RTGs. Alright, you want explode you want RTGs to be volatile? Okay. Okay. Uh, all in one ACB. They're kind of Oh, I get what they're meaning. Um actually no I don't. Uh, I actually, no, I don't. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to read out the most recent ten. Five and ten meter long recall absorbers for APS. I'm down with that. Um, okay, I'm just going to read the first page. Uh, more slash unlimited uh, miscellaneous access or custom access support. What? Wait, let's click on that. Let's click on that one. Let's read that one. Oh. I don't understand that one at all. Clearly, whoever is designing that is uh, got a bigger brain than I do. Also, you can tell on screen that my brain wasn't in the mood. Well, not, wasn't in the mood. My brain was in the mood. It just wasn't fully functioning because I somehow managed to paint that one barrel the wrong color. I still don't know how I did that. Uh, option to disable cram barrel spinning. Yep, that has been added. Ability to create mimics blocks uh, from sub-object constructed geometry. That's basically the... 
Uh, that's basically the decorations feature. Add ability to enable slash disable drag on spin, turn, block, and turrets. I'm not sure how feasible that is. Uh, so now let's uh, look at... Well, no, that's recently updated. Let's look at new. Brand new. Alright, so... Okay, so the, the, most of this is uh, the same as... Oh yeah, we tried two meter loaders over here and uh, it was bad. Also, you probably noticed that I keep stuffing up mirror mode in this video. So... I guess I had more enthusiasm than brain in this uh, building session. It happens. It happens all the time. So what else is... What else is new on here? Uh, da, 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 da. Is it possible to make the AC of spin block to be 50, the same as the AC of turrets? Fair enough, and that's not a hard fix, because... Uh, that is... I should go on here more and vote up stuff. Uh, option to force reload cycle on all belt feeders of an HPS system? Isn't that kind of a feature already, or am I misremembering? Speaking of belt-fed fe loaders, those are not belt-feds, by the looks of them. Nope, they're just regular auto-loaders. What was I thinking? Um, SEAD and changes to anti-aircraft and radar. Uh, and change altitude fuses to be useful high arc shots as well. I don't understand the wording of that. Alright, now let's look at the top request and see what has been... Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I don't know which ones are which. I Presumably these things get archived when they get, um... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? When they get fulfilled. Um, so, top one is these corner blocks would allow smooth transitions above one meter. Let's, let's investigate that, shall we? Let's read further into that one. You can tell I care very deeply about this mech that I uh, built and failed to build. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm not going to read all that out, but yeah, it is blocks that... They are talking about blocks that are not actually in the game, including uh, the new-ish transition blocks. New-ish. I think it's been over a year since they were added. Or at least several months. Uh, dynamic propellers. What do they mean by that? What do they mean by that? Okay. Alright, they're not talking about steam props, they're talking about something else. Okay, well, they're talking about something that's basically in the game already. Yep, da, 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 da. Rocket pod simple weapon? That would be kind of fun. Beamed ammo boxes? Well, I can kind of... Um... They could, well, I don't know. We've got 2x2 uh, two two ammo boxes now. Which is... I think that one's basically been done. And... Yep, simple tank threads. Confirmation process to return to main menu on a campaign and design. Well, I think that's basically in there. Alright. That was interesting. The request tracker. Oh yeah, so... If you're wanting to know where the request uh, tracker is, what the UI is... Uh, I will read it out for you, so I'm going to copy that, document, and I'm going to read out the URL to you. I mean, if you Google it, you'll probably just, you'll probably just find it. How's the turret going, uh, passport-wise? It's going okay. I know what I'm doing. I totally know how to build a good turret. Do you now? Has it got a terrible rate of fire? It looks like it. Oh, kind of does. Oh no, it's not that good. I know what I'm doing now. Nice to hear, past border wise. Keep up the good work, or the work at least. Um, okay, what was I doing? I was reading out a URL because that's tremendously exciting, and everyone's excited for that. So, uh, so it's basically yeah. So it's eight. Well, at brilliantskies.customercase.com/forums. Uh, slash request uh, tracker. Just, eh, I don't know. Why did I bother to do that? Google the damn thing. You know how. You know how. You are a genius. Yes, you. Oh, no. We're doing the cram cannon thing now. That moment when you were reading on your phone instead of commenting the thing you were supposed to be commentating on. 
How checked out am I? I blame the weather. Because that is cheaper and more convenient than blaming myself. So yeah, I try and be clever with the scram cannon, but unfortunately it does not work. It just does not work. Cram cannons these days really have to be a lot bigger uh, than what I made in this video in order to be effective and even remotely useful. Anything with it wasn't very good. Like this is this is essentially a failure build video. It's like I tried this thing and I cocked it up. Like the I all the ideas behind it were solid, but the implementation. Uh, made a farting noise as it fell out of the sky, like a plane. It was just this... And then it crashed and burned. And then I went and had... I was about to say I went and had pancakes, but I don't think I did. I went and had uh, pancakes in the shape of canoes. Let's just say that. It's the past and I don't remember it, so we might as well make up something fun. That is a terrible attitude uh, to have to history. Please do not do that. So yeah, I'm trying to be somewhat uh, efficient with the with the Tetris here. Trying is the operative word because uh, this deck turret is uh, it's not very good. I uh, like I will keep saying that until past me can hear me because it's just it's just not very good. Horrible armor, horrible, horrible, horrible everything. Horrible, horrible. Horrible. As in inspiring horror. I am horrified right now. I should have a face cam so you can see when I get jump scared by how bad this building is. So... I've got a scratchy feeling in my throat just looking at this. I want to vomit all over this terrible turret. Yeesh. Yeesh. I mean... Back in the day... I don't know. It's not a bad looking turret cap, perhaps, but it's just, it lacks ducker. Needs way more ducker, and I think finally I'm shutting down the stupid thing that was distracting me on my phone. Good job, Autowise. Good job. Have, have a pat on the head. I'm not sure if you, any of you can hear me patting the, me on the head. It sounds like this. Hopefully that's not too loud and distracting. But anyway, now I'm looking at this thing, contemplating my work and thinking, my goodness, what have you done? Actually, no, I probably wasn't thinking that. I was probably, I don't know, I'm not sure what was buzzing in my head at this moment, but I think it was like, you know, just a few snatches of like songs from, I don't know, the 1920s or something. I don't even know any songs from the 1920s that I can think of, but pretty sure that is what, um... That's what I was thinking. Oh, and this is where we do some firing tests. And this is what drives me crazy about cram cannons. And just a lot of things, actually. Is that, um... Is that, like, on paper... Like, well, on paper. Just looking at the stats in writing... Um... They're really good. They have very high damage numbers. But in practice... They're not good at all. Like... This thing does over, looks like about 12,000 HE damage for a shell, and fires at the Kraken, well firstly it misses, I believe. Yeah, well yeah, it just, it missed. And I mean, it did knock some blocks off, but really that's not the level I was hoping for. Really should have, like, and of course I always spawn in the test dummy before I tweak the freaking AI to fire at things the way I wanted to. And it fires again, and boom. So 16,000 damage is just, eh, it's just essentially scratching the paint. Like that kind of shell is at its best when it's like in a gigantic volley, and even then not very good because um, uh, I did a, like, as I mentioned in the Cram Tetris tutorial I did the other day, another shameless video plug, yay me, thanks me. Um, vast volleys of smaller cram shells aren't very good uh, because they just get deleted by seawers and missile interceptors and that's uh, it kind of renders them pretty pointless uh, to be honest and real with you and it's just um, yeah although speaking of the cram tetris uh, tutorial I did the other day um, 
Uh, what I'm doing here is like six connection Tetris, or at the very least a five connection uh, Tetris. So it's just we're sticking another layer on there uh, with basically a different, a different kind of layer, a different layer of um, a layer of connectors and loaders that essentially, what do they essentially do? I just realized that I could have gotten away with a different setup there. Oh well. Oh well, we've already established past me. It wasn't uh, wasn't a particularly big brain uh, state of mind. Like I was fine. I was feeling great. I was feeling chipper. I was in fact feeling happy and fresh. But sometimes the builds just don't do. Like it just doesn't go as planned. And that happens, I think, to everybody, and it happens every so often. And I guess getting back to an earlier train of thought that I think I lost completely. Is um, just that's life sometimes. It's just even if you've had practice doing a thing, you have off days. And sometimes it's like it's not even when you feel bad. It's not when you've got like it's not when you're low energy or distracted or anything like that. Although in this case, I definitely was distracted. Um, sometimes it's just like it doesn't come out as intended. And that's um, that's the ball game, folks. What is past me doing? Didn't need to do that. That's so... Ugh. Really need to try this again, methinks. Really need to try this again. You know what I'm, like, watching this, what I'm tempted to do, is just make a regular kind of pan pancake turret canoe, and I cannot believe that I can refer to that as regular. What is? What have I become? I am the pancake canoe man, and I love it. Send me back to Pancake Canoe Town. Where, like, you know, where there's gorgeous lakes to paddle on and maple syrup. Hang on, Pancake Canoe Town is basically Canada, I just realized. Or at least some parts of Canada, because you've got lakes to go kayaking on. And kayaks are different from canoes. Actually, I seem to recall reading this a lot. A canoe is something you kneel in and you have a single-sided paddle. And a kayak is something you sit down in, with your legs out in front of you, and you have a double-ended paddle. I can't believe I remembered that. I really... You know what? We've got, you know, we've got our phone right here, and we've, once again, we've already established uh, that this freaking turret is awful, and doesn't do its job, and um, is unemployed, and is on the benefit, because it cannot blow up plunderers properly, and that's the only thing it's got on its resume. So, learn from this turret, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, before you get built, um, have a wider array of skins, skins, skills to blow things up. Wow, where did that thought go? I don't think it went anywhere. Okay. Difference between kayak and canoe. Or we could watch a difference uh, between... What happens if I Google difference between... Okay, then. I think Google has profiled me. Uh, or my phone is listening in on me. Did I miss? I think I might have missed... Um... Nope, I didn't miss it. Okay, let's see. What does this do? Absolutely nothing because it missed... Man, I hate Grand Cannon sometimes. I love them, but I also hate them. It's like... What is that like? It's like sugary soft drinks. Like, which I have basically stopped drinking entirely now, but uh, I love them because yum yum, and I hate them because they make me feel like crap. And that's okay, that's ugh, not super good damage. I mean, it blew chunks off it, yeah. And also, speaking of that, um, like, uh, if I, like, I was just talking about explosions, and this is something to make you really paranoid. The first, when I. Just type into Google, difference between, and nothing else. The first thing that pops up is the difference between high explosives and low explosives. So, what happens if I start talking about cakes, pancakes, uh, trifle, desserts, and yummy stuff, and sweet foods, confectionery, and all that stuff? Does my phone respond differently? Uh, nope, it doesn't. Still thinks that I'm a terrorist wanting to plot to blow things up. Oh, now we're sticking the Garbo turrets on the thing because it's like, uh, 
I don't know what. I think maybe past me was just thinking, you know what? F it. This, this is going to be bad. Did I mention I knew this was going to be terrible going through? Yeah, I think I did. Actually, did I? I think I might have completely missed something important. Nope. No, I did not. Oh, this is where I, I toss it up. Oh, yeah. Never mind the thing I was about to Google. Yep, I placed the turrets the wrong way. Yay! Yay! Applause for past Borderwise. He is a ding dong. Ding dong, the brain is dead. The brain is dead. Oh, this is this is the one bit of the video I'm proud of. It says, I was just, at this point I was thinking, you know what, screw it. Have fun with this. So, I put goofy eyes on the front of this thing. And I give it, well, I don't want to spoil it for you. Uh, oh, this is the point where I think, oh, bollocks, I messed it up. And so I just, uh, what do I do? What does I do? What does you do, Passport? This is where I show off a very handy feature of From the Depths, which is flipping your craft around. So, what happens? There we go. There, torso. This is not much of a torso, it's more of a frog. So, torso, and just, and yep, click that, rotate it 9 degrees clockwise, and rotate it 9 degrees clockwise, and there we go, lovely job. I should start making, actually you can't do that. I was about to say you, you could make um, airships with the turrets on the bottom by basically just building a battleship and flipping it upside down. Doesn't quite work like that. So now... Okay, I do not want to miss the bit where I do the thing. Because I do a thing, and I think it's fantastic. And probably future me... Oh, let's talk about future Borderwise and what and what a tit he is. Um, past me does a good here, because I give this thing... Uh, well... Well, I give this thing teeth. <laughs> this, this made me happy. Just... Doing this made me super happy. I give, gave this thing bug out teeth. And when I uh, have another go at this, because I will have another go at making uh, the mech canoe, uh, you better believe that I will be making a face like that. I probably won't be using um, uh, missile lasers uh, for that, and I might just use decorations for, uh, for uh, the teeth as well. But, uh, yeah, I will... Um, I will definitely make a face like that, because that's too funny to me not to do again. Okay, and this is where I swap out the armor a bit, now that the front is different. And I can look up the difference between a kayak and a canoe. Kayak and canoe. <laughs> okay, so in a... Alright, I'm right. Okay, in a kayak, uh, the paddler is seated and uses a double-bladed paddle, pulling the blade through the water on alternate sides to move forward. In a canoe, the paddler kneels and uses a single-bladed paddle to propel the boat forward. And now I will look up images of canoes. Hmm. Also, apparently, kayaks... Oh, another definition. Anything more about that? I am going to go to muchbetteradventures.com and look up the difference between a kayak and a canoe. Actually, hang on. What's past me doing? Oh, past me is putting the missiles in. Past me is, in fact... Uh, what are you doing, past me? He asked, as if, um, as if past him could answer. Alright, so, yeah, this is kind of a big brain move, hiding the missile controller inside the AI compartment. Uh, which I've started to do more and more because uh, missile controllers are vulnerable to EMP and they're expensive, so it's kind of a good idea to uh, stick them somewhere where they can't get shot at. Wow, this is a very long article and I'm not going to bother to read it. Because, as you've probably guessed uh, from the fact that I checked out from commentating my own video, I'm feeling lazy. 
I'm feeling like a lazy daisy rather than a productive olive. Does productive and olive rhyme? I don't know. Productive olive. Productive olive. Productive olive. I think that's a near rhyme. We'll give that a pass. We'll give you a pass on that, Borderwise. Thank you, Borderwise. I appreciate you being nice to me for once. What are you talking about? I'm nice to you all the time. I let you play video games. Well, yeah, and then you roast me for not playing them well. That's because I love you and want you to get better, Borderwise. Borderwise, you're mean. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. No, you aren't. <laughs> I just had an argument with myself and lost. There were no winners here. Uh, the only winner was uh, Entropy. Oh yeah, so uh, as to the uh, this uh, failure of a mech thing. Uh, we start with the missiles. The missiles. Oh boy, I hope Lathrix uh, forgives me for how terrible these missiles are. Because I thought, here's the thing. Terrible cram cannons get shot down really easily by anti-munition defenses. And these are terrible cram cannons. Shells have basically no health and no damage. Uh, or no meaningful damage anyway. And so I thought, uh, what happens if we just have a swarm of kinetic missiles to distract anti-munition defenses and let the cram cannons get through? Like, assuming they don't miss completely. And, um, funny thing with that, you don't use small missiles for that because even if you make them entirely reinforced bodies, they have terrible health. And, uh, past me knew this, but also forgot this, and went ahead with it anyway, so past me should give himself an uppercut. Like a nice gentle one, so he doesn't permanently damage himself, because past me eventually becomes present me becomes future me, and present me doesn't want a broken jaw, and future me probably also doesn't want a broken jaw, so past me, gentle uppercut to yourself. Oh boy, I've actually tried the kind of uh, kinetic missile distraction thing multiple times, and with small missiles, and I've always had mixed results, so you've got to wonder why I keep bothering. Oh dear. Also, ooh, miserable armoring all, all the way around, single layer of metal, not a good idea, I think I was mainly accounting on this thing being a fast and evasive because it, it would have been a hydrofoil with like a lot of custom jets duct tape duct tape uh, to the back of it so it would go fast and that's not gonna happen now the more I look at this footage I think all right you create a front sider and then you stick it actually a good idea would be to essentially create build a turret you build a turret and stick your entire thing on there uh, as if uh, as if it was just a turret and then you can basically convert it into a vehicle a sub vehicle that could be a good idea I think I'll try that next time okay then so now what is you doing uh, it's back to the test fortress to test uh, that weapon setup because I believe because uh, goodness knows I fell asleep for a hot second uh, that, uh, that I've prefabbed the missiles and, yeah, I need to stick them somewhere. And, yep, so we're gonna test, uh, two of these turrets. And we're gonna place the missiles right there. Step that out so there's not an issue. And, yep, there's that. And there's also the other thing. And staggered fire, you know that's a good idea. Yes, there it is. And finally prefab and boop. And we're gonna see how good this is. And the answer might shock you because here's the thing. Uh, one of the best uh, deep water guard, well actually one of the best craft to test uh, missiles and crams on is the Kraken. Simply because um, that sea whiz on the top of it is astonishingly good. Also, it has a bunch of missile interceptors, so it's actually pretty resistant to um, 
anything that isn't a pretty hefty uh, barrage of missile and cram. And as you can probably tell, uh, despite me trying to use uh, what little big brain I had, uh, this just isn't working. Especially because, well, yeah, this is. I hate how flak can take uh, cram shells out of the air so easily like that. It feels weird. Feels like, you know, an armored artillery shell, you know, shouldn't be able to be destroyed that easily. But yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah. And it's that point as I realized, well, not realized, I just, well, I don't know. I kind of realized it was bad. I was hoping against hope it wouldn't be bad. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So save the fortress right there. I, For a moment, I blacked out and uh, didn't realize what was happening. So now we're testing it with large missiles instead. And spoiler alert again, it doesn't actually work that much better. It really does not work that much better whatsoever, because you need more large missiles than this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sometimes you try and you don't succeed. I've never heard that whole song. I am led to believe that it's very depressing. And now what's happening? Now you've got a fast thing. But it's not a it's not a fly for long thing. Okay then, not a fly for long thing at all. Lifetime forty seconds, uh, flight time of eighteen seconds. Oh dear! And uh, taking all bets now. Is this gonna do anything whatsoever? Is it gonna do anything new? Because missiles are gonna be heavily damaged. Okay, so 22,000 thump damage. That's not a huge amount. And the cram cannons are going to get shot. And here's the thing, is that with this particular testing setup, uh, the fortress itself is getting pounded with flak, so the missiles are taking damage uh, before uh, the Kraken even detects them. And yep, there goes the cram cannons. And missiles are on the way, are they? Uh, yep, they were. They were, and then they're both shot down because they were getting pummeled before they were even, even clear of the whole friggin' thing. So now I'm just like, you know what, bugger it, this Kraken is getting blown up one way or another, and explosion debuff tool. <sighs> I wasn't frustrated, I was just like, you know what, I'm out of time, I can't make this good. Call a mulligan on it. Call a mulligan. Call a mulligan. I need to look up where that phrase comes from because it's a fun phrase. Who is Mulligan anyway? And why are we calling him? It's like, Mulligan! It's not working! The mech canoe! It's a failure! Completely! Except for its adorable buck teeth. So, yeah, this, uh... Sad to say, this let's build did not go according to plan, but, um... You know what? That's life. And here I am, just admiring my handiwork. Just at the end of the video, because, uh, yeah, that's, um, sometimes you just gotta, you know, you gotta take joy in the small triumphs, in the sea of failure when it happens. So, on that incredibly cheerful note, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon, or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And this fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Let's build, where hopefully the next Let's Build will go considerably better than this one. Farewell.